Welcome to Art. My name is Mr. Schmidt. Raise your hand if you knew that already. Oh, hello. I didn't hear you come in. I was just working on some street art on the side of this public building. What street art did you ask? Well, street art is like art that you see in a public place. Like, you know, on the street. Now, some of you might be thinking like, oh, like graffiti. Which, yes, but the graffiti that I'm talking about is the kind that kind of decorates buildings that the owners pay an artist to do with permission. So I want everybody to know that I am not telling you to run and start spray painting your neighbor's house. Okay? So don't even think about it. Ah, yep. Stop. Put the spray can down. Put it down. Sit. Stay. All right. Think of street art as a way to express something important. Since it's out in public, what should that important thing be? Maybe it has something to do with the place that you paint it. Think about the mural downtown behind White Castle as a type of street art. What message does it convey? Why do you think the artist chose to put it there? Some of the world's most famous artists are street artists. Banksy, Keith Haring, Basquiat. For this assignment, I want you to think about some street art slash graffiti. So think about a word that represents something important to you and now think about how to stylize that word so you're not just writing it on your paper. Play around with the spacing, like smoosh your letters together, make parts of your letters super long or really fat, or you know, just add some flair so that your word is interesting to look at. Something that's gonna catch the eye as you walk past. And as always, you're working top to bottom, side to side. Here's what you'll do. Create a street art style drawing on your paper. Pick a word that represents something important to you. Draw the word nice and big on your paper. Use lots of colors and lines to make your word eye-catching because you want to catch the attention of people on the street. What you'll need, a piece of paper and something to draw and color with. So here's mine. I chose the word respect because respect is something that is very important to me. I added some details to my letters and I thought about what colors in my word would help it pop out from my background, which I colored top to bottom, side to side. One little tip before you start working here, an easy way to make bubble letters is to start drawing lightly with a pencil, just writing your word like normal. Then tracing around the outside all the way around to create a bubble. If you're always working light with your pencil, from there you can add little details and stuff to make your letters interesting. Just erase what you've got inside. All right, everyone, get to it. Have fun, be safe, and I'll see you all next week.